once you get the preprocessor option in play for an external table, yes, the preprocessor option is designed to provide output to come as a result to your SQL query, but that doesn't prohibit it from doing all sorts of other things. For example, one of the things DBAs are often challenged with is every time they want to apply a patch, it's often the case that OPatch, the software that is used to apply patches, has been updated or um, changed on the Oracle Sports site and you have to download a new one. The most common time we find this out is when we run the OPatch command that says, I'm sorry, you can't use this OPatch command for this particular patch you've just downloaded. But what if an external table could be used to update OPatch or in fact, do any kind of software updates on your machine. Really, it's just a case of having some smart use of what's in the preprocessor batch file. So this one has been designed for Windows, but you could easily modify it to work under Unix as well. The first thing I'm doing is using my customer CSI number, uh, I've commented about there and put user and password, to go get the patch number for OPatch, which is, have a quick look, 6880880. If I get the patch.xml file, that's effectively a manifest of all the bits and pieces inside, including the version number for that particular patch. The second command there just knows that in the first thousand lines, it's probably going to be the particular version of OPatch I need for my particular platform. The XML file contains the definitions of all the different platforms for which OPatch is available. So I'm gripping out there for MSWin, trying to find the various bits and pieces, and I also can find the version number as well. I then go find the current version of OPatch. So we can just simply go to Oracle Home slash OPatch, print out the current version. And the only real thing that the external table definition is interested in here is those four, four commands you can see there. All they are doing is outputting to standard out what the current details have in terms of the current patch version, what's available on support.oracle.com, et cetera. If they match up, that's the first line there on the script, I simply am done. I don't need to do anything because my patch, my OPatch version is up to date. But if not, I'm just doing what I would normally do in an OPatch update. I would simply keep the old one in opatch.old, install the new one, unzip it, etc. But all I'm doing is putting all this into a script that can then be called from the preprocessor option in an external table. After that, I just create an external table as per normal using my preprocessor option. And once that's done, now simply with a query, I can actually open that opatch. This is the output that came back. I looked at my current version, it was 12.2.0.1.23. I reached out to Metalink to get patch.xml for the particular opatch patch number, and it said the available patch was 25, so it's more up to date. Because it saw that, it then reached out to Metalink again, or Moz again, and downloaded the actual zip file and installed it by copying the old version into opatch.old and installing a new version. I'm not saying that every utility you ever build should have an external table sitting on top of it, but for example here, if you could do this now, once you've done this, you no longer need operating system access to keep your opatch up to date. This could be very useful in terms of being able to give this responsibility over to a junior program, a junior DBA, etc. They're not going to need or require OS access, yet they can keep OPatch up to date. You can see the possibilities here are endless when it comes to what you could pack into an external table preprocessor and give access to it from a simple query. Uh, if you check out my blog, you can see there's an example there where I can uh, check if Apex patches are available for my Apex installation just by doing the same kind of process. You reach out to Moz, pick up the relevant XML files and dig into there, do a bit of data mining to find out whether you should be downloading fresh patches. Mm -hmm.